After authorities saw a mom's innocent beach photo, they knew they needed to act fast. As the Granville family enjoyed a day at their local beach, they stumbled across a metal sphere that they believed to be a buoy, and the family were fascinated with the item that had washed up, mainly because of the hundreds of barnacles that had latched themselves to its side. But as the children posed happily beside the oddity for their mom, they had no idea that they were in grave danger. The Gravels included Mom Kelly, Dad Gareth, and kids Aaron and Ellis, and they came from the coastal town of Bury Point in Carmanshire, Wales. So when Kelly and Gareth aren't busy working, they love to go on trips out to the beach with their children, much like many parents who live by the coast. Bury Point has its very own beach that overlooks the Gower Peninsula. As the town's name leads to believe, the location was formerly home to a busy shipping port that transported Welsh coal from the local valleys. Today, by contrast, it's less industrial and is mainly known as a local beauty spot. Gareth posted a Simply Family Day picture to Facebook in 2015. In it, Aaron and Ellis both flashed double thumbs up. The kids are posing in their swimwear against a backdrop of blue sky, sparkling water and golden sand. And in the accompanying caption, Gareth wrote, No place like home. Kids love Bury Point on a nice day. At the time that the photograph was taken, Aaron was just six years old, while her younger brother Ellis was four. And it appears that the kids found something to occupy them on the beach that day. In 2015, Kelly explained to ABC News, My children took their boogie boards down and we were going out to the sea. During their day out at the beach, the Gravels noticed something strange washed up on the sand. And as the strange item interested both the parents and the kids, the whole family decided to investigate. We saw a large object on the beach, so we thought we'd have a little look," Kelly recalled. The mass in question had seemingly washed up onto the beach from the sea. It was also round in shape. Obviously, the object they were looking at was a simple buoy. What had really caught the gravel's eyes, though, was the large number of barnacles that were attached to the huge object. Explaining what had attracted them to the buoy, Kelly later told ABC News, We were more fascinated by the barnacles on it. And it seems that little Ellis in particular wanted to get a closer look at the otherworldly item Kelly added my son was touching it and was knocking on it a little bit Gareth wrote on Facebook Ellis was fascinated with the sea monster washed up in Bury Port Beach The dad sweet post attracted a number of reactions and comments too At the time though Gareth was seemingly unaware that the sea monster he'd encountered was truly something to be feared Little did the family know that they were putting themselves very much in harm's way the entire time. That knowledge only came five days after the trip to the beach. It was then, you see, that a friend contacted them upon learning of the true nature of the buoy in their photos. Then in 2015, Carmenshire County Council Press and Communications Officer Allison Thomas David revealed the true identity of the sphere to ABC. It very much looks like a buoy, which we get on the regular, but around it was a gooseneck barnacles, she said. Of course, as the barnacles started dropping off, that's when we could see writings exposed. And although Thomas David didn't elaborate on what the newly discovered inscription had said, she confirmed that the words had revealed the deadly truth of the object. As a result, then, the item needed to be destroyed to avoid anyone being harmed. It was picked up by the Coast Guard, who then notified the bomb squad, the council employee revealed. You see, the strange mass with which the Gravel family had intercepted was, in fact, an unexploded United States military mine. The bomb was also reportedly 70 years old, which dated it back to around the time of World War II. Even though the exact model of the weapon wasn't clear, it had become obvious to investigators that the buoy was indeed some kind of explosive. So upon realizing the potential danger that the mine posed, officials cleared the beach to ensure the safety of the general public. Obviously, we evacuated the beach straight away, Thomas David told ABC. Then the mine was detonated in a controlled explosion at 6 p.m. on Monday evening. News of the discovery of the decades-old explosive reached others in the area, too, as the nearby Pembry County Park reported the incident in an August 2015 Facebook post. The park's message read, West Beach at Bury Port Harbor is closed temporarily due to military mine found washed up. And after the warning was up on social media, it soon became clear that the Gravels weren't the only people who'd crossed paths with the mine. <laughs>